It turns out I've been making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches wrong my whole life. Luckily, I found this video called How to Make a Peanut Butter and Jelly Sandwich. You're doing it all wrong. And judging by the like to dislike ratio, I can tell this is gonna be a good one. When you're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and you're using cheap peanut butter and not balancing your flavors, you're doing it all wrong. Oh, really? And here I was thinking that, uh, you know, any peanut butter would cut it. Nope! Hell no! You gotta have the high quality shit. The most important thing when you're making a really good PB&J is the peanut butter. You need peanut butter? I had no idea. You definitely don't want to use processed peanut butter. It can make your sandwich really greasy and it also can have an off taste, almost like a bitter sort of sour flavor. What kind of peanut butter is she getting? Because every peanut butter I've ever had that's been highly processed has been sweet and creamy. And, and delicious. Crunchy or smooth doesn't really matter. It's more of a preference of texture. The most important thing is that the peanut butter is fresh. Don't eat old peanut butter. Thanks. Some of the grocery stores now have machines where you can grind your own peanut butter. Why in the hell would I want to make my own peanut butter? That's why I buy it in a tub. It's made. All I have to do is eat the stuff. What next? Should I go and grow my peanuts too? Then shell them, roast them, and salt them? Yeah, I don't think so. The same goes with the jam. You definitely don't want jams that are loaded up with a bunch of sugar because all you're gonna get is sweetness. Because you wouldn't want your jelly to be sweet. That might make the sandwich taste good. What you really want are whole fruit jams. It adds that fruity flavor and tanginess that you need to balance out your PB&J. Tangy is not a word I want used to describe my food. Bread is the foundation to a really good sandwich. For real, who would have guessed that you need bread in order to make a sandwich. The next important factor to building a really good PB&J is the balance of flavors. If you put too much peanut butter on there, it overwhelms the entire sandwich. And if you put too much jam on there, you're just gonna get sweet. Start with equal proportions and adjust accordingly. So your end result will be the balance of sweet, spicy, savory, and even tart. Did she just say spicy? Did you say spicy? Some sweet, spicy. Who in the fuck eats a spicy peanut butter and jelly? The next thing you need to know about making a really good PB&J is you don't just have to use peanut butter and jelly. Um, yes you do. Th that's exactly what you use. Otherwise, it's not a peanut butter and jelly. We added orange Seville marmalade, fresh basil, fresh curry, and sriracha. Oh, hell no. Finally, to take your PBJs to the next level, you definitely need to grill it. I swear, she looks exactly like Doggett from Orange is the New Black. You know, this lady, the crazy psychopathic meth head. So if you've done all these things right, it's gonna change your whole idea of what a PBJ can be. So in order to make a real peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I need to add basil and sriracha and grill it. Okay, I mean, I'll give it a shot. Who knows, maybe it, it won't taste like vomit. Okay guys, so I just finished making what is supposed to be a real peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know, because it has all those yummy extra ingredients in there. Doesn't smell very good. It kinda smells like the scummy stuff you get at the bottom of a trash can. Alright, here goes, here goes nothing. Okay, so it's uh, it's edible. 
Kind of. I mean, I'm still alive, but I don't really want to eat any more of it. It tastes... It tastes wrong. It just, it doesn't taste like a sandwich. It, it kind of tastes like spicy peanut butter pizza, which is not a combination of words that should ever be used to describe any sort of food ever. Okay, maybe the second bite will be better. You know, maybe my palate wasn't warmed up to this new type of sandwich. So let's, let's try it again. Oh, no, I can't do it. Oh. That's disgusting. That is horrible. Who? Uh, no one should eat this, ever. That is not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh. It tastes like ass. I can still taste it. Well, I would definitely not suggest making this sandwich. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I thought that might actually be good. You know, a little part of me was thinking, maybe it won't be shit. Maybe, maybe it'll taste good, you know? I'm always up for trying new things, but nope, that is definitely not how you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You want to make a PB&J, uh, stick with the, the PB&J, and, and that's it. Don't add anything else. Anyway, guys, that is about it for this video. I need to go throw up. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.